guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. That's right, this is the first video in two years, and we are back and stronger than ever. So today, we are recreating this look that I have on my face today. I am very, very excited because it's fall, so I really wanted to do something fall-inspired. So if you would like to learn how to do this fabulous fall makeup look, then keep on watching. Hey guys, what's up? Maxwell Alexander here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, so, today's video, because it is fall, and I absolutely love fall. Fall is my favorite time of year, for those of you who don't know. So today, we are going to be doing a fall makeup look. Um, I am really, really excited. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a very, very long time, so please bear with me. I am going to try and do the best I can. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, so I am very, very happy to be back. Um, but before we get into the makeup, we gotta talk about some tea, okay? And yes, I am drinking actual tea. Um, it's not vodka, although I wish it was. For those of you in the beauty community who have been living under a rock for the last um, millennia, uh, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson just put out Shane Dawson's new series called The, um, the Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. Um, and we are already two episodes in. And I don't know about you guys, but I am living. I am straight up living for this series. It is so insanely awesome to have the veil pulled on everything in the beauty community, how everything's done, how everything's set up, because I don't think a lot of us know really like what goes into it. I sure as heck don't. So when I was like listening to the second episode, I was like, holy, like jaw dropped like the whole time. Now that I'm done, gabbing my mouth away. Let's jump into today's video. All right, so I have already washed my face and uh, toned it out and also moisturized it with the Tatcha the Dewy Skin Cream. I got this little tester from Sephora with my points and I've always wanted to try them out. And let me tell you, my skin is feeling really, really, really smooth and very hydrated and very moisturized. This stuff is incredible, so loving this. I also have these samples of the Tatcha, the water cream, so I'm looking forward to trying these out as well and seeing um, what the difference is. Um, I think this one, is, it says refreshing and anti-aging pore uh, perfecting Japanese wild rose. Ooh. So now that that is on, now we need to prime my face. Now, Calgary weathers get really, really dry. For anybody who lives here in Calgary, you know how dry winters are. And our skin takes a beating during the winter. So I like to use a highlighting primer. This is by Colab. It's called the Fundamental Hydrating Primer. So that's it there. So we're just gonna take a little bit of the primer in our hands, just like a little pea-sized amount. That's really all you need. And we're just gonna go over the entire face. I just like to use my fingers to put the primer on. You can use a beauty sponge if you so choose. It is completely up. To you. We are going to go in with some foundation. Now, I've got my beauty sponge here already wet and ready to go. And today for foundation, I am, because again, it's really, really dry outside, I found this um, foundation. 
Uh, it's called Femme Couture Rose All Day Foundation infused with rose water. Now I've heard rose water is very, very hydrating and very moisturizing for the skin. So when I found this foundation, I was like, oh my God, a foundation that will hydrate my skin throughout the day. That's perfect. That's exactly what I need. Now I have two different shades here. I like to mix them to get my perfect shade because one's a little bit too dark and the other one is too light. Um, so I have the shades Alabaster and Ivory here and I am just going to do uh, maybe uh, one, two, two pumps of the Ivory and one pump of the Alabaster. We're just going to take my Beauty Blender and we're just going to mix that around. There we go. And then we're just going to this all over our face. We are just going to start buffing this into our skin. <sighs> How annoying is that? <laughs> so now that I have the foundation laid down, now we are going to go in with some concealer. Today I am trying out a new concealer on my face. Uh, this is the Ardell Camouflage Concealer. This one is in the shade Light, so we are going to see how this goes. So this is what the applicator looks like. It's your basic, you know, doe foot applicator. So let's get to concealing all my insecurities. Just kidding, I have none. All right, now that we have the concealer exactly where we want it, let's get to blending. Okay, so now it is time to do some powder on this face. I'm going to use this Set the Stage Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder from Colab today. And we're just going to pour some into the lid. And then I am going to take my big fluffy brush are going to dip in and tap off some of that excess and just go to town. I always like to do a press kind of motion, like a back and forth like this, to really push the powder into the foundation. And then I go over with the same brush just to smooth everything out. So now that my foundation and my powder is all laid and my skin looks flawless, now we can go in with uh, some contour. Uh, for today, I am going to use the Palladio, the Definer Contour and Highlight Palette. I always suggest going for a contour palette rather than just getting like one straight contour shade or one straight bronzer shade. This gives you a huge variety of uh, different ways that you can do your makeup. And it's also super small, so you can fit it in your travel bag and you can take it everywhere that you need to go. So that's kind of a plus as well. So today we are going to go in with this angled contour brush and we are going to use this middle shade right here to contour out uh, our cheekbones. I'm gonna grab my star, my Jeffree Star mirror, and we are gonna go to Look at that cheekbone. Hello, girl. Hi, I see you. Yes, queen. I love a good contour shade. I did not have that off, but that's okay because I learned about this little trick and Jeffree Star actually taught me this. It's actually called veiling. And what you do is you just take your powder brush with no extra pat with no extra product on it and you just kind of buff over 
You can use a little bit of powder as well, like some translucent powder, but you just kind of buff over to kind of defuse. And also it kind of helps the blendability of it as well. Veiling is also really, really good uh, because it helps blend everything kind of together um, and makes it look a lot more natural on your face at the same time. So for bronzer today, I'm going in with this shade on the corner here. And we are just going to take some of that on our brush. And we're going to tap off any excess and then just go right above that contour shade and kind of blend the two together just on that top piece of the cheekbone. So normally I would do blush, but I, well actually no, that's a lie. So I like to save blush for very last. I find putting the blush on just kind of brings the entire look together for me, uh, that and the lipstick as well. Um, so the next step that we are going to do, um, and actually, you know what, I'm gonna do this one off camera. I'm pretty sure there's a video somewhere of me doing my eyebrows. Uh, so if you want to go and check that video out, you are more than welcome to, but I'm going to go and quickly do my brows off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we have these fabulous brows on our face, we are looking gorgeous and I finally have a frame to my face. Uh, first things first, I like to prime my eyes and today I have the Femme Couture Get Primed Eyeshadow Primer. So this is what she looks like. Super cute with a little eye on her. Oh, so it comes with a little doe foot, which is kind of cute. I like that. So we're just gonna swirl her around a little bit and I guess apply this straight to my eye. So what I'm finding with the doe foot is that it's good to put it on, it, like it's great for putting the product on your eye, but I think I'm still gonna use a brush to blend this uh, out a little bit more and just to be able to cut the, uh, cut that line underneath my brow as well. So now I'm just going in with a flat concealer brush and we are just going to take, so we're just gonna dab this just to make sure that that, is, that primer is completely smooth so that when we go to put eyeshadow on top of it, it's not going to clump or anything. I don't know how I'm feeling about this eyeshadow primer. I'm not really loving it, but I guess we'll see how the shadows work with it. So let's not, you know, be too critical of her yet. You know, she might be cute, but we'll see how she works with the shadow. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna put in my transition color. That is always the color that I lay down first and everything kinda blends with it. So today I'm going in with the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes. And we are going in with the shade Safe Word first. So using a fluffy brush, and this one's a little bit bigger because I'm trying to cover more area. We're just gonna di dip into Safe Word. We're gonna tap off some of the excess. And we are going to dive into her. Right at the crease line and going upwards because I am also going to be wanting to do a cut crease, so um, I don't want to get any uh, any shadow down here. However, if I do, I am going to be cutting it out with concealer anyway, so it wouldn't really matter, but I do try and stay on the upper side of my lid when I'm doing my transition color. And you just want to kind of press it at the corner and keep on pressing don't really like start like moving it back and forth this way just yet. Press it where you want it first and then kind of blend out from there. That's how I was taught. And then you can start doing that kind of washy motion because then you are concentrating the pigment exactly where you want it and then blending it the rest of the way. 
So now that our transition shade is well laid down and she is looking snatched, girl, now we are going to go in with a little bit of color. Now, for fall, I love the yellows and the reds and that kind of like, uh, it's that fall weather and you're sitting by the fire. So, um, I do have this fantastic palette. It is the NYX Ultimate Palette. And today I really want to try out this kind of orangey shade right here and I'm going to pop that above. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend that with like a really nice red um, down towards the bottom. At least see how that all works out. Um, but you know what, makeup is fun and there's no mistakes in makeup. So you know what, we're just going to do it and we're going to live for it. So. She's looking really cute. It's looking very full. This almost kind of reminds me of like this really mustardy kind of color. I don't even, I don't know. It's just, I'm living for it though. Obby. Oh, now that that yellow color is down, what should we do next? I'm thinking we need to go in with some sort of like red, like a burnt red color. Oh, I just don't know. I do not know. Maybe there's something in the blood sugar palette. Let's see here. And I am going to go in with the red uh, from this palette called Fresh Meat. And we are going to use that color. We are going to coat our brush and we're gonna tap off any excess. And we are going to use that right, we're gonna put this right in the crease to kind of darken this up and give that fall, that fall feel. I am really, really loving the way that this is turning out so far. We are going to use that brush that we used the yellow with before. We're just going to blend these two colors together really, really nice so that it looks almost airbrushed. We're gonna go in with another little pencil detailer brush and I am going to use some dark brown uh, to darken this uh, outer corner up and also using a little bit of black as well just to really give it that kind of smoky feel. Okay, so now that we have that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brown shade down, now I'm just going to go in with that same brush that I used for the brown, and we're gonna dip into a little bit of black, just a touch, just to really, really give this some fall depth, which is going to look so pretty, I promise you guys. You should have something that looks like this so far. I am really, really living for this look thus far. I think it looks really, really good. So now we are going to cut out this crease. So I'm going to use that same camouflage concealer from Ardell. I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to put it onto the back of my hand. I'm not going to apply it with the actual applicator. I prefer to use a brush, you get a much, much cleaner line when you're cutting out the crease this way, um, I think. And it uh, just blends a lot nicer with a brush. So you're gonna start from the inside corner and you're gonna work your way around and you're just gonna kinda bring it down and around and kinda create like a, uh, um, I don't even know what you would call it, like a, almost like a scoop. A backwards C, almost, on the first eye. And just go very slow. Do not rush this process, because if you rush it, you are sure to screw it up. And I have screwed up my cut creases so many times, it is not even funny. It's not fun at all. And then you end up looking absolutely ridiculous. You will get better at this as you go along. Like, I mean, I did not learn how to do a cut crease in a day, girl. Like, 
Anybody who can learn how to do a cut crease in a day, congratulations, you're a freak of nature and I love you, but for us, <laughs> back down here on planet Earth, um, it's not so easy, so you really, really, really want to be careful. So now that we have our crease cut, I am going to go back in with that, uh, with this flat top brush, and I'm just going to pat over the concealer just to get more of a smooth finish for the eyeshadow to be placed. Now that we have our crease cut, now it's time to go back in with the color. I'm going to go back in with Fresh Meat from Jeffree Star. We're just going to tap this color into place. I don't, I really want a lot of pigmentation. All right, so now that we have that red shade put down, now it's time to go back in with that yellow shade uh, from the NYX Ultimate Palette. And we are going to dip into that and we are going to start using her in the inner corner, working our way back towards this beautiful red color that we have in there already. So you want to kind of focus this on the inner corner and just tapping it into place, like I said before, and then tapping it up and over top of that red shade. And we can also use an even smaller uh, detailing brush as well for this. this. The inner corner is a little more tricky to get into, so you might want to use a pencil brush, very, very nice and thin. A very nice and thin kind of pencil brush like this, that should definitely help. And we are going to mix that in the center with that beautiful red shade. I am living for this look so far. Oh my God. This is like so fall and so beautiful. Sorry, I keep on looking in the mirror over here, but like, damn girl, like, mm -hmm. I'm living. I am absolutely living. So now that the crease is cut and we have the color in there, I want to darken up the outer points of my eye a little bit more. Um, and there's this really beautiful shimmer shade right here in my full exposure palette that I really want to put on the outside corners of my eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of the Femme Couture Get Locked setting spray. We're just going to spray my brush just a touch and we're going to dip into this kind of shimmery shade and we're just going to place that around the corner of my eye. We're gonna take it down a little bit underneath the eye here too. No, screw it, we're just gonna take it right across. Cause why not? Okay, so it did kind of come down a little bit, but we can always clean that up with a little bit of concealer. So don't worry too much. If it does end up being messy, there is always a way to tidy her up a little bit, which is exactly what we're gonna do right now. We're going to grab that concealer brush again and use some more of the Ardell Camouflage Concealer. So now that the eyes are finished and we have got all the shadows down, now it is time for mascara, liner, and lashes. Um, so first things first, we are going to go in with one of my all-time favorite mascaras and to be perfectly honest the reason why it's my favorite is just because of the name and on the carton um so Ardell came out with a uh top and bottom mascara and on the box it says are you a top or a bottom I laughed so hard when I saw it in the store I was like is that even appropriate to put on shelves like just curious <laughs> I would really love to know. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, you have the top side and you have the bottom side of this mascara. So we are just going to go straight in. 
uh, and do the tops. I really like this mascara, but we're just gonna very lightly comb my lashes today because we are going in with a actual pair of lashes. So they don't need to be too, too coated. Just enough that I can kind of blend them with the actual lashes. So first we're gonna do the top and then we are going to go and do our lashes and then we will do the bottom lashes and I will be right back. Now that that is finished, now it is time to move on to highlight. I have one of my favorite highlighting palettes ever. Uh, it is also by Colab, and as you can see, I have used it quite a bit. I really, really love the shades in this. They are absolutely stunning. Like, even when the light hits them, do you see that? Like, just, just wait until you see these on my face. So today, for today's highlight, I am going to be using this more of a pinky shade right here. Uh, I don't want to use the really, really light pink. I think it's going to be too much uh, for this fall uh, look. So I am just going to do a very, very small amount of highlight today because I don't want to be seen from space. And that's just me, but for some, you may want to be seen from space, and that's perfectly okay too. Okay, so now that we have that beautiful, beautiful highlight down, look at how nice that is. It just glows so effortlessly. It's stunning. So now that we have that all down, now it is time for the final step. It is time for lipstick. So, in for today's video, and because it is more of a dramatic eye look, today we are going to go for more of a neutral color. Today I'm going to be using a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Calabasas. I really, really love this shade. It's just beautiful, muted, kind of mauve color that basically goes good with any sort of look and it's dark enough that it looks great for fall as well. So we are going to apply this to the lips and I will be right back. So here it is, you guys, the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you like this look, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, and if you guys recreate this look, I would love to see it and shout out uh, your social media for you as well. So be sure to send those to me via email. You can find my email in the description down below. If you like today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel already, please hit that big red subscribe button. It would mean the world to me if you would come and join me on my makeup journey. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. Also, please be sure to check out my website for all of your Maxwell Alexander YYC merch. We have t-shirts, we have dresses, we have heels. It's an entire uh, uh, fashion and accessory line. Uh, it is all done by print on demand as well, so there is no excess um, no excess clothing that is being thrown away. When you purchase it, they make it and then they ship it. So that is absolutely incredible. So please be sure to check out www.maxwellalexanderyyc.ca for all of your shopping needs. And until I see you guys next time, I hope you all have a fun, fierce, and fabulous day wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye!